So, okay, welcome. My name is uh, Javier Garcia. I come from Spain. And today I am going to tell you about the high level open freeze FPGA development tools from Open Hardware Repository. First, uh, in order to advance, this is an outline of the themes or the topics I want to introduce you today. Uh, first, we are going to, to see uh, something about Open Hardware Repository and FPGA. Then I am going to introduce you the SDL Make tool. This is the core ingredient of the all the, the things I want to introduce you today. Then we speak about the Libre FDA tool. It's an SDL filter design and analysis tool. And then we will move uh, to uh, some more advanced conce or concepts that I want to, to introduce you. So let's move on. And first, what uh, I want to tell you about the open hardware repository. I don't know if you know it, but the from its own definition, the Open Hardware Repository is a place on the web for electronic designers at experimental facilities to work in, uh, to collaborate in open hardware design. Uh, it was uh, started and maintained by, by CERN, and today uh, there is a global effort in which uh, multiple companies and uh, universities collaborate uh, in different projects. This is much in the philosophy of the free software movement, and this, of course, is not only for uh, experimental physics. Uh, you have a lot of useful uh, resources that you can reuse for, of, for other kind of projects. In, this, uh, in the open hardware repository, FPGAs are a must because there are so many reasons because FPGA technology is employed in experimental physics facilities. Uh, first, you, have a, you need a string time in accuracy and performance requirements. You need to go to the, to the bid level. Uh, the lower volumes of the system that are being deployed uh, doesn't justify a custom ASIC development, and you need to be in, uh, flexibly, you need enough flexibility and reconfiguration uh, capabilities in order to evolve with the with the experiments itself. Now we can go to the first tool, the maybe the most important one, and it's HDL Make. Uh, the main purpose of HDL Make is to be a command line Python application that is targeted to make the list easier for the HDL developers. What does it mean? First, that is very focused to have a very modular design so that it allows the agile the uh, management and reuse of uh, HDL cores. So uh, you can define uh, the whole design hierarchy uh, by using very simple Python manifest.py files. And it in addition supports uh, both local and remote uh, models that you can have in your own computer or use a uh, subversion or git repository. In addition, it has uh, a lot of uh, useful, uh, useful resources for, for the command line. It provides a set of functionalities that are targeted to, uh, to striping so that you, have, uh, you can uh, create projects and update that those projects for different FPGA synthesis tools. It also is able to generate make files uh, for synthesis and, and simulation. And it has many other features such as uh, code phasing and uh, remote, uh, remote synthesis that makes the release easier uh, to, to make and uh, to work with HDL. About the supported envi environments uh, uh, with respect to synthesis, uh, nowadays it supports uh, Silence with the all the different uh, synthesis tools that Silence has. It also supports Altira with the Quartus 2. It also supports MicroSemi with the Libero IDE uh, environment, and also supports for Lattice. About simulation, it, it supports both proprietary uh, tools such as uh, iSIM, ModelSIM, Active HDL, even Riviera is a work in progress. And also, uh, it supports free open, uh, uh, free open uh, tools such as GSDL or Icarus Verilos that you have. Uh, <laughs> you have just discovered or, or, or heard about. <coughs> and about operating system, is, uh, it, can, it can run in any Linux distribution that is able to, that has uh, Python.2.7, uh, <coughs> and it can also be used in, the, in any Windows distribution by just using a thick Win shell. Now, as we can see that all the different, uh, the different synthesis tools that we can use, if we take a look to the market set by vendor in the fourth quarter of uh, 2014, uh, ACL Make Tool is able to cover roughly the 99% of all the FPGA market set nowadays. So it's a very interesting tool. Now, I'm going to show you some, uh, some example in order to, to take a feeling to of this tool. 
here I have a, a, the code of APL make that I have downloaded to my to my computer from the from the Git repository that is hosted at the Open Hardware repository. And if we take a look, we have uh, different folders. It's uh, this is the code that just uh, download from the from the repository. We take a look to dots. We have a lot of uh, Sphinx, uh, Sphinx uh, documentation that is also hosted in the read the dots uh, repository. Uh, if we take a look to APL make, we have all the Python code. And it's very interesting that we have some tests that are already that are, uh, ready for start uh, to work with the APL make. So as a simple example, we can go to this test, uh, the counter test. And here we have a full project that you can reuse in order to synthesize code, like a simple counter and simulate this counter in all the different tools that I have just introduced this. So for example, we are going to, uh, to, run, as, uh, to run a simulation just go to simulation. We have examples for all the tools that I have introduced you. And if we go to Verilog, code Verilog, we have a very simple manifest. This is describing, wow, is describing the, the, the top file of the, of the system. I, I'm sorry if you cannot see, <laughs> see it so well. Oof. Yes, maybe, but I think I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> to run out of time. Yeah. What? Yes? Ah, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yeah. It's a very simple one, as you see. We have a, a very simple line. I don't know if you can see. It's a very simple one, you know, they have a, they, they it specifies uh, specify the top module. It also includes a, a post-synthesis command that you can include in order to make the thing even easier. And it describes the, the module here again. Now, sorry, oh. if we run uh, HDL make, We can see that automatically uh, a, money, a make file has been created. And if we take a look to this make file, it's a standard make file that has all the targets, and including the target that the with the uh, post simulation command. So now if we run just make in post CMD, <coughs> it automatically runs the simulation. It opens the, uh, the model that is going to be inspected. And we can just append this. Uh, and we have all the, the counter. It's just a simple example that you can use to, to build a more complex one. Now, if we continue with the, with the tools I want to introduce you. We have the Libre FDA tool. The Libre FDA tool is an under development tool that is uh, it's meant to be a free open Python software package. Uh, I need to help the analysis and design of uh, HDL filter. It's basically the, the main purpose is to try to, uh, uh, to reduce the non-recurrent engineering. So uh, calling an HDL filter may be a, is a very straightforward but time consuming uh, task. And having an automated tool for this is uh, it increased the productivity of, uh, by us. Uh, very much. The idea is that uh, we have a lack of alternatives, uh, of open alternatives, but we have other products like, uh, like the FDA tool, the commercial package that is included into, into MATLAB, and we are going to try to replace this, uh, this tool. So if we take a look to the MATLAB ecosystem, I the FDA tool needs an extra package, and an extra some extra MATLAB package in order to run and in this way, the Libre FDA tool also needs a, an extra Python environment in order to run. It's, it relies in scientific Python package, so NumPy for numeric simulation, SciPy for uh, signal processing libraries and so on, and Matplotlib in order to, to, to plot the, uh, the, the graphs itself. It has very nice uh, features. The first uh, set of them 
uh, matches the, the commercial tools alternative, such as a friendly graphical user interface, in our case is based in Qt. It supports for BSDL and very low code generation, including its associated uh, test benches. Uh, it includes multiple high level filter verification root type, sorry. And it supports uh, LTI coefficient analysis in both frequency and complex plane uh, domain. But what, pardon? Mm. Uh, linear um, it's time, it's invariant. time invariant, yes, sorry. As, as an extra bonus, we have also integrated a simulation engine. So by using SDLMA that I have just uh, introduced you, uh, virtually any simulation tool in the market can be employed uh, to, uh, to simulate the, uh, the filter that you are going to, to create. Okay. Now let's see Libre FDA tool in action. We have a very simple interface within which we can define a stimulus. We have chip signal. We can change to to South Truth, uh, to Sin One. And if we came back to Chirp, for a simple example, we are going to change the frequency in natural unit. And we see that the, sti uh, the stimulus get the uh, update. Now if we go to the filter side, we can specify some different uh, results for the for the filter, and we can see the, the associated uh, transfer function. For example, if we, we can uh, change the, the, uh, the number of coefficients, the width of the coefficients that are going to be used, and the input and output boost, and we can also the, uh, and that use that in the filter parameters, we can see that the function transfer is, ch is changed. Uh, we can also choose different uh, windows in order to run the, in order to, to implement the, the filter itself. And uh, now that we have, if we change also the, the cut frequency, we see that it automatically simulates everything, it plots the, the signal, and we can make a, a focus and see that there is different for the flow out of the and for the HDL implementation. And now, finally, now uh, I know that I am running out of time. I wanted to, ins to introduce you one, uh, one more concept because I am going to move for to move faster. I want to introduce you the the spec before uh, introducing you the the concept I want to talk about. This is uh, the simple PCI express carrier, F, uh, FPGA mezzanine carrier. That is a development for, uh, by the third. It's fully open hardware, and it relates under and under the third open hardware license, and it supports multiple functionalities by adding different FP FMC modules. What we need to run a whole uh, the a product uh, based on the on the spec. We need different building blocks. For example, we need the hardware, that is the spec board itself and a host computer. We also need the gateway. In, um, in the open hardware repository, we have different feature specific uh, uh, gateway designs that can be loaded on the fly in the, in the FPGA that, uh, that is in the spec board. And we have also a software support that includes uh, both the Linux user library and the kernel driver. But there is a still a piece that is missing. Uh, we need also a, cu a customized Linux operating system in it in order to run the whole product as a whole, as a self-contained one. So I have made some, uh, some experiment uh, in order to build a customized uh, Linux image, and I have choose to use the, the Yocto project one. Yocto uh, Project is an open source collaboration that includes the Poké, the Poké distribution, the open embedded, uh, the open embedded toolchain, and the BitBake, uh, the BitBake uh, compilation engine. This is not a Linux, not an embedded Linux distribution. It builds uh, custom embedded distributions. It's also Python based, and it relies in alliance architecture <laughs> of reusable software collections. Each layer contains multiple recipes uh, for building software, 
and it includes also a graphical user interface uh, in order to make the development easier. Um, sorry. The key idea I want to introduce you is that by using APL Make, we can the handle the HDL code itself just in the same way that software in order to build a Linux package. We can fetch the code from a repository, we can configure the code by using HDL Make, and then we can build the whole bit stream by just issuing a, a make command. So I have built uh, a meta spec layer that is compatible, compatible with, the, uh, with the Yocto project. So that by including this, uh, by including this layer in your own uh, Yocto distribution, you automatically can use the spec board and the, the kernel drivers I integrated into the model hierarchy of the Linux image you have created. The Yasser libraries and the tools are ready to be used and the FPGA Bstream are automatically deployed in place. So um, I plan to show you, can I have a one minute more, please? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so he, uh, here I have a little demo uh, of using the, the Yocto project, the graphical interface of Yocto project with this, uh, with this layer. Here you can define different layers and I have added the meta spec layer. So we can choose different uh, pre-built, pre-configured image, images uh, in order to build uh, the Linux image. Uh, we are going to select this one, for example, and now we can edit the, the recite. Uh, these are the already selected by default, the uh, features by default, and if we go to the recite, we can add the spec related one, such as the init bit stream, the library, the software, and even an extra one that is the, the white rabbit mix. That is a, a advanced feature of the spec board that is used in experimental physics facilities. So, and now with this I am going to end very fast. <laughs> Let's go to the conclusion. As a general remark, HDL make is a very stable, well-baked and proved on the field tool. So it's a very useful one. Libre FDA tool is a volunteer effort, so any of you can uh, help, uh, it's, it, it's welcome. And the last uh, topic I have introduced you is that by we can hand, uh, handle gateway and software as a whole. And I believe, I personally believe uh, that by doing this, uh, we can, uh, is one of the only ways of assure that the you, have, uh, you can reproduce, uh, reproduce a product uh, in the future, an embedded product, and warrant some quality uh, in a producer in a production grade sense. So, uh, simply uh, as a note, if you have really noticed that Python is the common language for all the three tools that I have introduced you. And finally, if you want to get more information, get involved in the projects, just uh, you can visit the Open Hardware Repository and the HDL Make project, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Not really. So well it it, uh, it supports uh, the actual uh, the actual version, the version that is uh, being released just now. It supports all the all the version. It's based in TCL. Uh, it has a TCL backend, and it supports uh, the most of the IC ESC distance. Thank you, Professor. Yes. <laughs>